Hello everyone, well it's going to be dry across Iowa today, but already tonight, the rain coming back once again. Now, no rain to slow you down for the morning commute today, but one thing that might is fog. Lots of light fog across the state, but there's going to be some areas with some dense fog this morning, and that's particularly going to be the case, I think, in the central and western part of the state. Though I'm not going to rule out some dense fog in the eastern part of the state as well, I think the dense fog will be most widespread if you're in central or western Iowa. So especially in the central and western part of the state, give yourself a little bit of extra time for that morning commute. Yeah, remember, when driving in fog, use the low beams on your headlights and, of course, drive below the speed limit. Uh, I do think it's only early this morning the fog will be around. By 11 a.m., all the fog is going to be gone. The clouds will break up nicely, and we're going to have some good sunshine around. And pretty good warm-up as well. A look at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Most will be reaching the mid to upper 60s, which is a little bit above normal for this time of year. A little bit cooler to the north might only top out around 60 degrees or so in Mason City. The other good news today, no matter where you are in the state, not much wind. So it's really going to feel like these temperatures, no wind chill factor to worry about. So when does the rain chance begin? I do think in the evening hours, we're going to start to see some showers pop up in the far southern part of the state. So let's track it through the evening because it's going to take time for this rain to reach places farther north in the state. Sioux City, I think the rain chance will begin about 10 o'clock or so tonight, but notice the Quad City still dry, Waterloo still dry, Mason City still dry. It's going to take a little bit longer. It's probably not until late tonight that we start to see the rain move in for Mason City, Waterloo, Quad Cities. This is at 1 a.m. And so at this point, we'll call it scattered activity again. And though I think it's mostly going to be showers, you see those shades of yellow and orange popping up there could be some isolated thunderstorms. I think the model a little aggressive uh, with the yellow and orange at 4 a.m. I still think it's more than likely going to be showers, but yes, there is still that possibility that some storms will be around very late tonight and early tomorrow morning. And unfortunately, the chance for severe storms is not zero. Any of those storms that do pop up could be on the stronger side. And that chance will continue through the early afternoon tomorrow. This is 8 a.m., uh, tomorrow morning, we're still talking about. Notice how it's mostly green, so mostly showers, but still in spots, a little bit of yellow and orange, and we can't completely rule out that one of those storms that pops up uh, is going to be severe. But notice how we jump ahead to lunchtime, and not as much going on. Still rain around, but not as much as in the morning. So I do think the wettest part of the day tomorrow is going to be in the morning hours. Jump ahead to four o'clock, and there's probably only going to be a few leftover showers around. Now the wind is coming back for tomorrow. The eastern part of the state, we'll just call it breezy, but then we'll have an area of windy conditions in the central part of the state. And if you're in the western part of the state uh, tomorrow, look how warm it's going to be, like <laughs> upper 70s to maybe even some folks getting to the low 80s, but wind gusts are going to be around 40 miles per hour. Notice that in the eastern part of the state, which is pretty similar to today, only topping out in the upper 60s and maybe only upper 50s in the northern part of the state. I do think Friday evening plans are looking good. I think the rain will be out of here. And notice our temperatures, again, very mild. Still seeing temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. as <laughs> you head out to dinner Friday night, so good news there. Now, let's finish talking about, again, that severe threat, which is late tonight and through the morning and early afternoon tomorrow. I know kind of a prolonged period where we're going to have all that scattered activity. And I do think it's largely going to be showers. But there are going to be some storms around particularly in the northwestern part of the state. That seems to be where the best chance of storms is going to be. Though notice the chance for storms is in places like Des Moines, Waterloo, and even over in the Quad Cities. The best chance of storms is in that shade of yellow. And so that level two out of five threat for severe storms is as well. Because any of the storms that do pop up could, in a worst case scenario, though it's more likely any storms that pop up will just have heavy rain and lightning. Worst case scenario, we could see a few storms produce up to quarter size hail and wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour.